This is your WCIH Read Forecast First, sponsored by Mattex Heating, Cooling, Plumbing, and Electrical. Well, things finally starting to calm down here, as you can see from Champaign and Springfield. Both of those cameras looking a lot better than what we had earlier as a lot of that snow slowly coming to an end. And you can see on the Storm Tracker Doppler, not a whole lot left now. Just some very light flurries that are still flying around. But as far as that heavier snow that uh, was around earlier today, that is now gone, pushing off into Indiana. Attention is now turning to some of the cold. But I tell you, we did get some decent snowfall amounts. It's almost an end. Uh, there in Normal, an inch in Pena, Danville, and almost an inch and a half up near Homer. Got to talk about the temperatures now. 34 in Champaign. And we're talking about things starting out well below the freezing mark tomorrow morning at 29. More on the potential damaging freeze coming up. WCA3 News starts right now. Now from WCIA3 News. You heard it from Kevin. We got another taste of winter today, but while the snow is done with us tonight, the cold is not. Plus, more details about a murder in Shelby County, how one of the suspects knew the victim. And plasma was part of the frontline fight against the pandemic. Meet two people who helped save lives through their donations. You're watching your local news leader. This is WCIA 3 News at 10. The snow, as Kevin said, done for the day, but the cold is staying through the night. Good evening. Chikini. And I'm Jessica Coons. If you've already packed away your winter blankets, you'll want to grab them for at least one more night. WCI3's chief meteorologist Kevin Lighty joins us. Kevin, did we at least break some records today? Yeah, well, that may come in the morning. We may see some of that as these temperatures fall uh, really low. Take a look at this. This is what a lot of flowers and plants looked like today. This is from uh, Mike Randall and Monticello. You can see the snow on those beautiful blooming flowers there. Probably not liking that, and they're not going to like the temperatures to go along with it. That's why a freeze warning is in effect for everybody. Now, we think that these temperatures, again, could be getting close to breaking a record. 26 is that record low. We're forecasting 27, but regardless, if it's 26 or 27 or even 28, that's a dangerous, damaging freeze that will uh, occur. So if you've got the plants and, and whatnot sensitive to this, <laughs> hopefully you've already done this by now, but uh, you wanted to bring them in, cover them up, sheets, plastic, because, again, uh, things are going to get really cold out there tonight. So you definitely have to take those proper precautions or else risk losing some of those as well. Um, as far as like some of the farmers and what, I know some farmers, they, you know, they've already done a little bit of planting. Ugh, they, don't, they don't really like that. Um, but um, here's the thing, this cold is here. It's going to be around not just tonight, but again, tomorrow night, we actually have temperatures that are going to be down below the freezing mark. And so it's almost two nights in a row we've got to deal with the cold. And then, of course, with the snow we had today, look out for a few slick spots that could still be out there um, in the morning. But you do have a treat for us on the seven day we're going to see in a little bit. Yeah, the seven day at the end, you're going to love that temperature. It's, it's literally like we flipped the switch. And it's what we did in the weather center. We flipped the switch. So, <laughs> Good West, Everything yeah. changes. Wondering why you flipped it in the first place. Yeah, it's, it got bumped. It got bumped. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kevin, thanks. We'll see you soon. Snow is stopping, but temperatures are still dropping. Yeah, it's not good for anyone who wanted the warm spring weather to stick around. WCI 3's Bryce Beamett joins us live from Champaign. Bryce, definitely getting cold out there tonight. Definitely cold. It's something I had to bring out my winter coat and my hat, something I did not think I would be doing in April. But while it's an inconvenience for everyone, myself included, it's a lot more serious for those who don't have a place to stay tonight. I'm not okay with this. <laughs> those are the reactions from some people in Champaign as snow flurries came in the middle of April. This is crazy. I've never seen, never seen it smell. You know, it's been a long while. Many know the saying, April showers bring May flowers. But in this case, April snow may ruin some people's spring gardening. My husband and I just planted blackberry bushes and a couple other things. And so this morning, he was running around trying to cover our blackberry bushes. And it was adorable and sad. <laughs> but while most people can go home to a nice warm bed. I want to go home and curl up. That's all I want to do right now. Others may not be in the same situation. Homelessness is one of those things that can affect someone in the spring, summer, and fall as well. CU at Home has a shelter open at night year round. But in this weather, they open up during the day to help people have a warm place to go. Make sure that there's a warm and dry place 
uh, for those men and women to come if they need it. They spread the message that they're open by word of mouth or by calling those who may have cell phones. But they just hope they can be a safe, warm place for those who may not have that. This gives us an opportunity to just show them once again, hey, we're here for you. You know, not everybody expects a, a snowstorm in the middle of April, um, but even when it does, we can be flexible. We can we can act quickly. Some people are staying overnight at CU at home, but if you already have a place to stay tonight, you can return there at 8 a.m. Their doors will open for a warm place to stay during the day. In Champaign, I'm Bryce Beamett, WCIA3, your local news leader. All right, Bryce, thanks for sharing. Now, snow on the roads isn't a concern, as Kevin mentioned, but with the temperature drop, freezing can be. That's why IDOT's keeping its eyes on the road tonight. In Champaign County, I can tell you, however, we might see some pavement temperatures hit freezing or below. And if that happens, IDOT trucks will be out early tomorrow morning uh, treating the bridges and elevated surfaces. We always treat the bridges and elevated surfaces because they're the first to, you know, to, to freeze up if we get the cool temperatures. So if you're driving tonight, IDOT expects road conditions to remain all right. But the advice is to drive slowly, keep your focus on the road, don't drive distracted, and be cautious on bridges. In other news, after three weeks of testimony and nearly 10 hours of jury deliberations, former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin was found guilty today in the murder of George Floyd. Chauvin appeared to be motionless as each guilty verdict was read. He was convicted of second and third degree murder and second degree manslaughter. Crowds erupted in cheers outside of the courthouse. Floyd's brother expressed relief, but says the search for justice isn't over. We have to march. We will have to do this for life. We have to protest because it seems like this is a never ending cycle. Yeah. A judge is expected to sentence Chauvin in about two months. Meanwhile, a renewed push to end qualified immunity stalled in Springfield. The legal shield of qualified immunity protects police from facing individual financial liability in court for violating someone's constitutional rights. The Black Caucus wanted to end qualified immunity back in January, but took it out of the final police reform measure that eventually passed. It is a bill that, that we're slowing down. It's a very uh, uh, difficult issue, not just here locally in Illinois, all across our country, and of course federal Congress uh, taking this up as, 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 as well. Not something that uh, members are wanting to s sweep under the rug, um, but we want to take a comprehensive approach. The police reform plan that passed in January includes a new task force to study the issue of qualified immunity. House Democrats plan to wait until that study is complete instead of voting to end qualified immunity now. WCIA confirmed the man accused of killing a woman in Shelby County is her grandson. Sherry Hubbard was, or died rather, in her own home. Her grandson Clayton Anderson and his friend Thomas Miller are charged in her death. Police found her body in her closet in Clarksburg. Anderson and Miller are in custody in Nevada. No word yet on when they'll be extradited to Shelby County. A man from Edgewood is not guilty of attempted murder by reason of insanity. Mark Sigrist was accused of trying to kill his grandparents in June. The Effingham County State's Attorney says Sigrist was recently released from a mental health facility. Sigrist stabbed his grandfather and hit his grandmother with a cutting board. He'll be in a secure mental health facility and is being evaluated by the Department of Human Services. Another Illini planning to leave the basketball program. Who has entered the transfer portal? Plus, health care needs went from blood to plasma during the pandemic. Why two donors decided to help. All right, Kevin, I don't think we were expecting to see what's behind the screen or behind you right now on the screen uh, in April. In, well, yeah, Almost April. May. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, Ten days from the end of the month here. Some people were asking me before the snow, is it going to be enough to have a snowball fight? Is it going to be enough to make snowmen? Yes, it is. <laughs> There's two examples of that right here. Take a look at this. We've got both Augie and Madison from uh, Tutopolis over here. Both of them built a snowman. Great, great view there. Good stuff. All right, when we come back, we've got to talk about how <laughs> it's the cold now. That's the issue. Freeze warning in effect. And we'll show you when things warm up on the seven day next.